Hello and welcome to the Engage Brain Podcast. Well, thank you for coming in. Uh, we're going to talk about emotion, and stress, and anything else that comes up today. Uh, but I uh, talked to Kelly and Richie, and uh, the first thing I want to ask uh, each of you is, what? Uh, why did you choose uh, emotion as the topic for uh, your studying of stress? Um, to begin, I would say uh, we chose this is because emotions are a big part of your day-to-day -day basis and events that you take part of, and um, there's different types of emotions you can feel throughout the day. So I think it's really cool to see like what triggers you feeling these different type of emotions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Richie, did you have anything that pulled you to, towards this topic? Yeah, I liked it because like, in everybody's perspective, is different. Like, for example, stress affects everybody's emotions differently, and everybody mm -hmm. acts different. And then since we're all like in college, like we're all experiencing stress, and like sometimes people being away from home, so it's kind of cool to like provide people with like stuff to relieve it, but also find out like how everybody's different and see like how everybody like tries to treat their own stress. Yeah, I thought it was interesting looking at your activities earlier this morning. That uh, like people, some people have said that they get angry when they're stressed. <laughs> some people said that they get anxious. Some people say they get depressed. Other people said they got all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and I remember going into my first finals. Uh, did you have finals in high school? At your school? Yeah, and sometimes we got exempt from them if we had an A. Okay. So that was kind of a big yeah. relief. But yeah. also, like, you would stress to try and get that A, right. too. So <laughs> Did you have finals in high school? I had finals, but they weren't, like, necessarily, like, a big part of my grade. So okay. even... So it was like by the end of the year. So even if I got like a C, like my grade was just stay the same. Okay. So it's definitely different from college. Like college is yeah. definitely. Yeah, because my yeah. high school uh, would, did a terrible job of preparing me because we had no finals. Uh, oh, maybe yeah. one class I had like a, a final, but uh, yeah, nothing uh, like college finals. And so going into the first finals week, I had no idea how to you know like study or prepare. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But just seeing like um, people going crazy in the library, uh, like kind of cracking under, under the mm -hmm. pressure. Um, oh, yeah. I think um, well, you said that you get kind of like in a study mode and like... Yeah, you know, I have everything together. I know what I need to do. So I'm not just sitting there and just kind of like shuffling through yeah. my yeah. work. Yeah, but you just see people like pacing and like yeah. knowing mm -hmm. what to do. Yeah, so uh, it was definitely a kind of a wake up moment for me and seeing how we have all these different mm -hmm. like, experiences or reactions to, to um, <clears throat> stress. Uh, and so then kind of going forward, um, what have been some of the more interesting findings uh, that you found in your research so far? Um, I would say the different activities people partake in, and it's not always like a physical activity. Mm -hmm. Like we talked about today, I noticed like a lot of people said like they get shaky, they start scratching. Mm -hmm. I know I mentioned I bite my nails. Um, so it's like you know that it's happening. So it's like what you do to take place and like the emotions you put forward I thought was really interesting to see. And then also with like physical activities to see like the different emotions like some people like to be calm and um, partake in yoga and meditation and that's just kind of like a calming and relaxing emotion whereas some people want to get their adrenaline rushing and going into mm -hmm. support going into sports and just different type of exercises so I thought that was really interesting to see how people take their emotions and put it forth like in a mm -hmm. different activity mm -hmm. uh, what I thought was interesting was like the long-term effects like how like prolonged stress can make you like like your mood in general just bad like lose relationships with significant others and then like the health issues mm -hmm. so like i thought in that perspective like for us like what like now to college and when we graduate get a job like, if you have a hard job and you're always stressed like that could affect like because now that we're older like it could affect your marriage like your relationship with your kids you know just how your life is and then it's just like you have to know ways to be able to relieve it if not like basically your life will go downhill yeah yeah i think we learned a little bit about that yesterday um jt and jason were talking about family relationships <clears throat> mm -hmm. and like how stress from the parents like kind yeah. of leaks down to the kids and so um you can see uh, well you said like you bite your um, fingernails like your your dad but mm -hmm. like in a more serious uh, event like the stress that your parents feel like you feel too like mm -hmm. i did you know like money problems or whatever that your parents are having then all of a sudden like you just can feel the tension uh, exactly. in the house and as a kid you kind of just soak it up like a sponge uh, i think you had the study with the the rats today um yeah how like the family yes like you can have different um what did they say like in the video with the rats oh yeah um if the mother if the mother was there, mm -hmm. like they were, they were. It was easier for them to deal with stress. Like they were, like they responded to it better. Yeah. But if the mother wasn't there, like they had had a, they had a tough time like reacting to it. And it just like, they just weren't like prepared really. And then it would, 
have a negative outcome. Yeah, for all, for like their lifetime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. kind of thinking about like um, homes where um, both parents are working, and so yeah. like you get home by yourself off the bus and like have to make a meal for yeah. yourself or something like that, and how that would affect you kind of long term, kind of surprising. Yes. Uh, how about uh, thinking about uh, your topic? Has there been anything that you think is kind of confusing or took you a second to kind of work through? Um, at first, I thought about the memory thing. I was kind of confused on how stress can kind of play along with mm-hmm. your memory, but then, like, I kind of stopped and, like, thought about it. And I know I used this example in class, but, like, for basketball, like, we're memorizing so much. And then, like, you know, you're, like, stressed out that day, and you're like, okay, well, I know this, 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 this. And then sometimes you just blink for a little bit. And then mm-hmm. you're like, oh, my goodness, like, mm-hmm. what? where's my memory? So um, I thought that, like, was kind of cool to relate to and see at first. Because at first I didn't understand of, like, why stress would have an effect on our memory. But after, like, reading a lot of um, different articles and looking at that video we shared, it was obvious to see, like, how it could affect our memory. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I was confused about was, like, the, like, basically the stuff, like, stress has to do with the brain like trying to figure out like you know your like different parts of like stress affects your brain like all like those big words like trying to figure out like stress like where it affects you and like what causes what to do what mm-hmm. like, i felt like that part was like is the hardest to understand because i know what stress is but like in order to really understand you need to know like what causes it like what parts in the brain are affected and i feel like that's probably the most confusing part yeah yeah plus it's really interesting <clears throat> that you see that um that the that it actually helps you at first so like uh, the stress of preparing to remember everything for the um, game like you actually remember better for that short term it's the problem that uh, we're always stressed and so kind of that continual um, like I think of our brains as engines so we had you had those tests of people like um, seeing how anxious or depressed or stressed they were and some people just kind of had like higher levels uh, of stress Mm -hmm. so I kind of think of their brains just kind of as an engine idling at a higher, um, higher area than mm-hmm. the rest of us, and and so if you always keep it idling super high, it just kind of burns out quicker. Yeah. I, I don't want to give away any trade secrets, but what are the ways that um, you remember or try to learn or memorize basketball plays? Um, we honestly like for us when we're running our offense, it just like kind of like all right, like just keep running it. Okay. Like. We get introduced to it in the beginning of the year, and um, there's, like, a couple of days where we'll just take just to run our offenses and, like, go through it. And, like, um, another thing our coach does a really good job of preparing our offenses is we run through drills mm-hmm. that, like, is going to move into our offense. Mm-hmm. So that really helps. Um, but – and then just kind of, like, memorizing other teams. Like, we do, like, a gist of it, but then, like, we also have, like, our coaches and our teammates kind of, like, yelling out the plays to us, too, just mm-hmm. to help us out. So I think it's kind of more of, like – us like knowing about it but then like also having people help us out so mm-hmm. what i like to do is like i first like to watch it mm-hmm. and then i obviously like obviously start doing it i like to take like you like start running it at my typical position mm-hmm. like at a guard for example but then i like to also run it at other positions mm-hmm. so once i understand my own if i'm able able to understand another like then i know what everybody's doing yeah that's why i feel more comfortable then when i know what like everything that's going on instead of just me yeah Cause then if i mess up like or something i know what to do next or like who's gonna be where, so I know like what spots remaining, so okay. I can be there. Yeah, yeah. I I'm just interested as you were saying, like talking about memory, just because that's like my research mm-hmm. area. So I was w- wondering, you know, is there any way that particular way that basketball players try to memorize plays, or you know, mm-hmm. repetition, players, yeah, repetition, yeah. Repetition. yeah. Uh, so um, I'll have to think about that because uh, I think there are uh, ways that people can memorize things better yeah, and more Definitely. quickly uh, mm-hmm. than than just repetition. Um, but uh, thinking about, uh, so we, we talked a little bit about this. Uh, we haven't uh, uh, put out the one pagers yet, uh, so uh, I don't have anything about your um, kind of the uptake of the the public stuff yet. Uh, just in this kind of condensed uh, frame, uh, we don't have uh, the time between assignments to, to do different things. Uh, so do you think that there's any newer developing areas of research uh, in uh, looking at emotions and, and stress? Um. I would say, yeah, you know, in terms of, like, brain images, like, mm-hmm. when you're stressed, like, different parts of your brain, like, for example, like, light up. Mm-hmm. I think that that's cool because, like, back then, especially, like, we didn't know. We were like, oh, you're stressed. Like, you're fine. Like, now we realize it's, like, it's actually an issue. Like, it affects you, like, long-term with your health. And it's good because then, like, we could target specific areas on what to do. And then since research just keeps increasing or it keeps getting better, then it's just, mm-hmm. like, it just becomes easier for the person, especially 
I think the video, the TED Talk said that, yeah. I mean, people in today's generation and stuff are way more stressed than it was back then. Mm-hmm. So if we are more stressed and it's going to continue, we definitely need to find more ways to relieve it and we'll yeah. find out what's going on. Mm-hmm. Um, and to go along with that, I think it's interesting to see, like, back then, like we said, like, we didn't really have, you know, intense cameras or, like, medications that you can take to, like, help with whatnot. Um, but, like, just seeing, like, there are different parts of your body that stress affects. It's not just like one, like, oh, it's just your body, you're stressed. Okay, like do something to get mm-hmm. along with it. It's like different parts because it can affect like your brain, you know, different types, um, different parts of your body. So I think that's like the newer thing that we can see within these um, couple of years. So I think yeah. that's cool. Well, I think we can start to wrap up there. My last kind of closing questions are, are for each of you. As I said uh, before we started, are, are there any things on campus that you'd like to promote kind of coming up? Uh, so we're you know, end of January, uh, I'll try to get these out in, before the end of J-term, but... Um, I think one of the biggest things we have coming up is Saturday, our game against UD. Oh, okay. That's a big one, um, but it's kind of hard because I think most, most of campus... Yeah, most campus will like be heading back. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm trying to think. I think the counseling center, the counseling center. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, I mean, I never go, but... Like, I know that, like, if somebody has a problem, like, it's there for you, especially if it's for free, like, mm-hmm. you go and talk, I mean, it's not going to hurt you, you know, it's definitely yeah. better, it's something that people should be not more, like, more aware about, too, but not, like, for it to have a negative connotation, for example, like, you know, like, traditionally, like, masculinity, like, yeah. go talk to a counselor, like, it doesn't seem, like, masculine, but it shouldn't be like that, it should be, like, if you have a problem, you should go, to, just be able to go talk about it, and, like, mm-hmm. no, like, nobody judges you or anything. Yeah, that's why, I like, the... Basketball teams have the chaplains. I think yeah. that's the technical term for mm-hmm. coming in. Uh, mm-hmm. And so it's like not the stigma of like going to a counseling yeah. or a therapist or something like that, but it's somebody to talk to and mm-hmm. uh, get some advice from. Yeah. Um, that's kind of how I think more of, of counseling. Um, and so thank you for those two recommendations. Any other like interesting things that you've come across uh, lately in your personal lives, products or fads or TV shows, restaurants, uh, you know, just kind of anything that you want to let other people know about? Um, like to relieve stress? It doesn't have to be. It could be Just, completely outside of um, stress stuff. These ones are, are kind of hard sometimes. These were the ones I was talking about earlier. Like someone recommended their brother's uh, smartwatch oh, okay. uh, strap uh, company or um, you know, different restaurants. I don't really have anything on no, the top of my head, nothing. to be yeah, honest. Yeah, sometimes it's hard. <laughs> I would, uh, I mean, I would recommend, like, for example, like, in terms, like, during the school year, like, mm-hmm. I just kind of, like, local, but, like, for example, like, the intramural leagues, okay. like, something for people to just get out and do, or, like, a local YMCA, mm-hmm. like, something just to do to, like, exercise to get your mind off stuff, and then, I mean, you relieve stress, but you also, like, benefit your body, so, yeah, stuff like that. Perfect, yeah, I think there's a different podcast uh, later that we're looking at the exercise and, and okay. stress so we'll hear, hear more about the um, science behind that but thank you both for coming up thank you thank you